Hello guys, welcome back. Loki was kind of telling me in Loki's own way that I was trying to rush things. I think either Loki, the universe, whomever, did not delay this poor woman's mail on purpose, but it's kind of like, pay attention to the lesson. I'm not doing this, but this is good. You're trying to rush things. And the other thing he was saying is the light's not coming on for you, so Loki destroyed my fridge light. I know he did, because I haven't seen one of those things break in about 30 years, so I know Loki was involved. In fact, the, the time it happened, you know, I was like around six or seven, and the guy, there used to be a repair store, we're going somewhere with us, he came down and we were all looking at it, like the whole family was gathered, he was here. Everybody was looking at it, because those lights never go out, right? You always see them for sale in stores, but appliance lights just never go out. It's like they exist forever. Well, this one didn't, because Loki got to it. I took it out, I checked it, and as you can hear, maybe from the rumble behind me, the fridge is alive. Thank you, Lord. Um, And what he wanted me to see was the light wasn't coming on with Asmodeus, and I did not want to admit it. But Asmodeus put the Asmodeus paw on me. <laughs> and, you know, I'm going to make him a couple of things. He hasn't actually asked for them. He's really comfortable doing stuff where I'm already understanding that he's really sweet nature. He really is, I swear. And I'm talking about Asmodeus, I also swear. But I can kind of sense he would like something. I've already drawn his sigil on stuff and everything else. And... I was just having this weird thought because this pesky human being showed up on Pinterest and finally they didn't do what they usually do. They didn't hide again fast enough. They usually hide so I can't find them. They'll like pop out of nowhere and try to bother me and then hide so I can't ban them. Got them. And I was pretty pleased with myself. It's like when you hit a really hard to hit target in a shooting game. <laughs> I was really pleased with myself. And I looked up Asmodeus Patreon. We're going somewhere with this. And this beautiful altar flag came up for Asmodeus. And it was gorgeous. He looks so pretty. And I clicked on it. And there's this whole Luciferian um, store. And they have all these Asmodeus goodies. And I'm like, I've died and gone to the good place. So I'm <laughs> looking at all these goodies. And I thought, I'd like to put that person in Esmodius's hands because it was talking about, you know, he does have some things he does that, you know, because I worked food on, I'm like, okay, you do all the revenge stuff you want, I'm fine. Um, and I thought it would be nice to put this person in his hands because one of his things is getting rid of obstacles in your life and getting rid of troublesome people. And just as I thought I'd like to put that person in his hands, I heard four or five shotguns go off at the shooting range. I'm not shitting you. It was like Asmodeus is like, destruction. <laughs> so, <laughs> I get all the fun ones, but honestly, guys, for all his sacred duties that are usually destructive duties, kind of like Loki's, um, he's a sweetheart. He really is. He helped me make, you know, his place. He's helping me with the designs. He helped me with Loki's home with the designs. He's a real sweetheart. He was so proud of me because, you know, they won't give us certain things. Like I said, like bed, furniture, stuff like that. They'll give you couches. We have enough damn couches and ottomans to last us forever. And I'm getting, yeah, but stuff like recliners, you can't get stuff like toilets, you can't get showers, stuff you'd actually want in a home and got to need. So he helped me build a bathroom, and he helped me build a fireplace, and he helped me build a kitchen, and we had to build all this shit by hand because we're not important anything and taking a chance of getting hit. We built all this shit by hand, and we're immensely pleased with ourselves, looking at it like, I'll be damn, we built a fireplace, I'll be damn, we built an oven. <laughs> and we're immensely pleased with ourselves. We built a walk-in shower made all marble, we built all this shit. We're very pleased with ourselves. Um, made really fancy gateways in his place, and it was just admitting Asmodeus is what he is. He's not as bad as some unhinged lunatics that play way too much Dungeons and Dragons make him sound, but he is what he is. It's like Loki is what he is, Odin is what he is. Any god, and I'm not trying to scare you guys, could snap any human as, with as much effort as we take to snap a toothpick. They could. They're not going to do it because they generally care about us and they really don't want to hurt us. Do they teach harsh lessons? Yes. 
Loki decided I wasn't getting the light, and the light wasn't coming on, so he had to demonstrate, because he loves killing lights with me. He's like, <laughs> what else can I destroy? He knows I'm really upset with him. He destroyed my other lamp. I had one, he destroyed it. I threw that one out. I don't know why, I wasn't thinking, but I threw that one out. I kept the other one, he destroyed that one too, and I'm like, well, lamps do, you know, lamps do go, can't always blame Loki, and I'm like, the hell with that, it's Loki, I know in this house it's Loki, so he's like, what? So I called a friend, and we're tentatively penciled in for Monday, because it obviously didn't come for her, and I don't know why she didn't ask for Saturday, but I guess she's got stuff to do tomorrow, which is good, because I'll get the weekend off, and tentatively penciled in for Monday, I don't know. You know, if I told her, I said, look, honey, if I'm up and you're up and it comes, we'll go. I said, but if I sleep in because I've been having this weird issue with sleep, I said, I don't want you to miss going. You go. I can fax it. I can mail it. Don't worry about me. If you call me and can't get me, don't worry about me. Go out the door. If you got to go, you know, I understand wanting to get it done as fast as possible. Go ahead, go. And so we're tentatively penciled in for Monday. And I had to order light bulbs because I'd called her back and I said, you wouldn't happen to have a fridge bulb, would you? I said, I will trade you, because that cabinet up there is full of bulbs. I said, I will trade you, happily trade you, like a floodlight or something, like uptrade you for a more expensive bulb. They didn't have one. And I know the auto pod store won't have one, and I called the store in town, and they don't have them. And I'm like, well, I'll order them through the mail. Hopefully they come in, and they're not all little bits of, you know, broken nothing. So I have prayed to them, but Asmodeus is thrilled now because I just, I finally was like, okay, you're here. He's the closest thing. I don't know if he wants the word patron. I've never seen people that work with demons use the word patron, but he's going to be the main one. And I don't think he's scary, but I do think they all do respect each other. So the others are still here, but they're kind of in awe of Asmodeus. And I'm not saying that because he's the main one. It's just kind of like I've noticed they just naturally give him his territory. And he's really sweet-natured. I swear he is. He really is sweet nature. Um, Mammon can usually be sweet nature too, because they don't have to fulfill that kicking my ass role. I have Loki and Odin for that. I'll always have Loki and Odin for that. They'll always kick my ass very happily. Loki's like, yeah, you think us Asmodeus is here? You're going to have little rays of sunshine? I'm breaking that bulb because I can't. I said, you know, it would be a good trick if you could fix a bulb, because I took it out and tried it. It's broken. I said, it would be a good thing if you could ever fix a bulb. <laughs> He's not going to do it. And I said, you know, I just built you a whole house. And I'm very grateful. Well, I'm still broken. Though, so. <laughs> and he means well. Loki wanted to help in his own way. Loki knew that I would understand the light not coming on. Though it is scary, though, when you open your fridge and there's no light, right? The first thing you think is that the damn fridge broke. And I was like, oh, shit. So, thankfully, the fridge is still running. Shut up, Loki's like, you better catch it then. Ah! So the bridge is still running. He broke a bulb. When the replacement bulbs come in, he will get it as a sacrifice. Every bulb he breaks, and I know bulbs do naturally go out, but this timing felt like a Loki thing. He actually does get them painted and decorated, and he gets to have his prey with him. So he'll have it on his altar somewhere. He'll have a painted light bulb. People will come into my house after I die and see painted light bulbs all over the place. Be like, what the hell kind of cult was she in? Loki cult. Where <laughs> we decorate things. But, going back to Asmodeus, I now owe him all sorts of little trinkets and tchotchkes and... We had an altar for Njord, and Njord loves me and will work with me, but at the same time, he's really not fussed, and it was right near to Odin, and since Odin and Asmodeus seem to get along quite well and actually enjoy each other's company, Asmodeus kind of settled himself down right there, and since he's so into snow leopards and cats with me, even though I can't find them in his Persian lore, they may be in Arabic lore, I don't know, um, I'll just try to at least print something out. I, you guys know if the essential tremors is going to be interesting looking still, but I'll try to like at least put his seal on something and try to make him content. It's not the ideal situation, but unless I would add four rooms onto this house, I really don't have any place to set him up where he would be where I would interact with him on a daily basis anyhow. So, 
guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.